you said you used to be a Cowboys fan, and I said, why did you switch over to the Packers? She said two words, Jerry Jones. The network has decided it will show highlights from high school football games instead. That's not going to go over well. We will quickly find out if this talented group can turn things around or simply become a bust. Hey, Myron, I hope our meteorologist John Slater is listening to this. Please, when there's baseball game, have some warmer weather, for God's sake. Yeah. Just play ball, all right? Relax, have fun, play the ball, make the plays, let's go. That sounds all too familiar. A competitive team anxious to get onto the field and win. Hey, man, see you. <laughs> but this group of 15 young men have experienced much more than most of us ever will. They all had an amputation. They never thought they'd even walk again, more or less live. Fighting on the front line in Iraq was the cause of the loss of limbs, eyelids, and other severe injuries. An improvised explosive device was set off underneath my Humvee, resulting in the amputation of my leg below the knee. Throughout lengthy rehabilitation and determination, each of these former high school and college athletes started their lives over, but this time with artificial All limbs. Is, uh... For them to do that, you could see the love of the game. Most of us can't imagine the pain and mental torment each of these brave souls endured. But in adverse situations, the human body is limitless with overcoming such adversity. <laughs> this revitalizes that intestinal fortitude that they had ingrained into them and their services, it brings it back. Now this is amazing. Throughout all those traumatic experiences and the major injuries suffered, these young men find happiness, the therapeutic experience of playing softball together. And the funny thing is when you walk into their dugout or meet them out in the parking lot while walking into the softball stadium, it's like walking into a locker room, just ragging on each other out of fun. Yeah, this is Saul. He's, he looks like a quiet guy, but boy, does this guy got a big head on his shoulders. This guy is on the field. They may not be perfect, but these wounded warriors are perfect in representing the red, white, and blue. Sean Clinch, Fox 25 Sports. We're Cape Friendly in Pittsburgh. There are the countless international sports reporters like Azteca TV's Inez Signs. This was her seventh Super Bowl to cover. Now, I did ask her if she was aware that she was a favorite among the single members of the male gender. Yeah, well, thank you, but I am already married, so <laughs> <laughs> I have three kids, so I think I'm out of the market. So. Other than Inez, Ross, the intern, the hottest topics involved a popular beard. Yes! <laughs> Pittsburgh's Brett Kiesel is proud of his winter growth, and he's open to suggestions like donating to balding folks like myself. This is just a part of me. I, I don't really do much to it. It's just like this. I wish I could give you something, but I can't. And for all of you Dallas Cowboy fans back in Oklahoma, check out this former Cowboy, Flozell Adams, complete opposite, zero hair. Two years in Dallas, I, I, first time I tried to grow a beard, and, and, and I think uh, I was in a, I started training camp and started filling in, and uh, I think we won like three or four in a row. And I'm like, man, this thing is itching. I'm getting tired. I was about to cut off. They're like, no, don't cut off. Now the icing on the cake was running into this former OU All-American. It's Gerald time, everybody. <laughs> Gerald McCoy was hanging out with Chad Ochocinco, and he was overwhelmed by the abundance of attractive media members. I get starstruck. I love, you know, women. Oh. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Sean Clinch, Fox 25 Sports. Heritage Hall hosted Holland Hall in a scrimmage. The Chargers have some big names, but this guy may have the best name in all of Oklahoma. Meet Shaven Shockley. Look at this great name, some skills, and apparently he's fast. Shockley took Sterling Shepard's screen pass to the zone. And here is the mandatory Barry Sanders Jr. highlight. And he says, I'm coming right in your living room. And he slows it down. There's no need for a score because it's just an appetizer before the actual season. Good Friday to you. If there is one group of Sooners who are underappreciated or haven't 
received a lot of love. It has to be the defensive tackles, maybe because these guys have yet to prove themselves as a unit. And there isn't a big name like Gerald McCoy anymore. As a pride of Muskogee explains, this D line is making progress with the new technique. Okay, the technique we have now is more of we're allowed to go make plays rather than last year we had to we were just one gap. Now we're two gap players, so mm -hmm. our defense is set up for us to go make plays like linebackers. We don't have to just take up men anymore. Well, there is not a lot of concern about their Cowboys defensive tackles and Stilly. That lack of concern and excitement may be why OSU may set a record for season ticket sales at Boone to Pickens Stadium. No official number has been released, but 48,000 is the number they are nearing and what's floating around out there on the social network. Just think, 48,000, that was the capacity of the stadium not long ago. Well, some say it's the next best thing to football's Hall of Fame. Three more legendary Dallas Cowboys will be inducted into the Ring of Honor. Larry Allen, Charles Haley, and former Tulsa Golden Hur Hurricane Drew Pearson. You know, the original number 88. I waited a long time to hear those words. The Time Warner Cable has yet to negotiate. And if, wow. you, if you're not aware of Time Warner, does big. not back down. They, they, they cut off a local affiliate there in Austin because their company wanted to negotiate a lower price. Didn't happen. They cut Don't off they a local Don't they have a big, new, a big building that, that, that they've it's already about put about a block up. away really? from the campus. Well, maybe they'll put up, they'll sit, they'll sit on the top. But a big night for the Red Hawk fans because they're no longer affiliated with the Rangers. But the bad thing is, with the Astros, there are a lot of people on the Astros squad that these fans don't have a clue who they are. And this is pretty much how the fans reacted to seeing their new parent team for the first time. No, I can't. Uh, some of them, but not all of them, no. I don't really know any. That was the popular response when any of the loyal OKC baseball fans were asked to name any of the Astros. I mean, current not the killer bees of the past. Can you, can you name me three Astro starters in five seconds? Three. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos Lee, Bud Norris, Jason Michaels. Uh, we'll get J.R. Tolles. Now that doesn't count. He plays in the Astros organization. Hunter Pence. Hunter Pence. Yeah, Hunter Pence and Carlos Lee are the two Astros the fans are familiar with. Now, when asked about the other Astros, you will receive some, I don't know, shrugs. Well, that's because the Astros are going through a youth movement. We're, we're, for, we're rooting for the new guys. You know, got to take care of the new guys. So. Regardless of recognition, the autograph seekers waited patiently, and some received a signature from the Astro they all know too well. Mr. Pence. Carlos Lee. Jordan Lyles is a prospect coming up. As for recognizing this group of Red Hawks, well, it's a laughing matter. <laughs> but there's good reason for that. This team used to be members of the Round Rock Express before the affiliation of the Red Hawks changed from the Rangers to the Astros. List, there's no list on any of the any of the Red Hawks that we put out that I know about. And as for the game today, the Red Hawks, the now Astros Triple A club, well, they put up a good fight. A two-run bomb in the bottom of the first inning, tied it up at two. The Astros outslugged the Red Hawks tonight, nine to six. I had a Mr. Clemens setting, Roger Clemens' oldest son, Kobe, on the Astros roster. He is expected to be on the Red Hawks roster. So Roger Clemens' son, you can come out and see him. He is listed at first base. Myron, you missed a cold one. All right, thanks, Sean.